Thomas's branch line is important, and so is Edward's, but their track and bridges are not so strong as those on the main line. That is why the FAC controller does not allow the heavier main line engines, like Gordon, to run on them. But one day, the way Gordon was talking, you would have thought that the FAC controller had forbidden him to run on branch lines for quite another reason. It's not fair, complained Gordon. What isn't fair? asked Edward. A tin branch line diesels pull main line trains. Never mind, Gordon. I'm sure Boca will let you pull this truck sometimes. Gordon spluttered. I won't pull Boca's dirty trucks. I won't run on branch lines. Why not? It would be a nice change. The fat controller would never approve, puffed Gordon. Branch lines are vulgar. Gordon puffed away in a dignified manner. Edward chuckled and followed him to the station. Every evening, the two engines pull two fast trains from the station. Gordon always lives first with the express for the main line at 6.25. Edward follows five minutes later with this train for the branch line at 6.30. Usually everything runs like clockwork, but tonight there was trouble. A lady in a green floppy hat was saying goodbye to a friend. It was nearly time for Gordon to start. The fireman looked back towards the guard's van and saw something green waving. Right away, mate! He thought the guard had waved his flag. Gordon started, leaving luggage, passengers and the guard all standing on the platform. Everyone was very surprised and cross. To make matters worse, by the time Gordon had been stopped and brought back, Edward was late with his train. So now he had to set off first. but control at the big station didn't know about the change. By mistake, they sent Edward along the main line. Gordon was sent along the branch and arrived cold and cross on one of the sidings near the docks. Next morning, Bill and Ben peeped into the yard. There were no trucks for them, but they didn't mind that. Teasing Gordon would be much better fun. What's that? asked Bill. Shh, whispered Ben. It's Gordon. It looks like Gordon, but it can't be. Gordon never comes on branch lines. He thinks them vulgar. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard. If it isn't Gordon, said Ben, it's just a pile of old iron which we'd better take to the scrapyard. No, Bill, this lot's useless for scrap. We'll take it to the harbour and dump it in the sea. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop, stop. When Boko suddenly arrived, Gordon thought him the most beautiful sight he had ever seen. Boko, my dear engine, save me. Boko quickly sized up the situation and threatened to take away the trucks he had brought for Bill and Ben. This made the twins behave at once. Gordon thought he was wonderful. Those little demons, he said. How do you do it? Oh well, said Boko. It's just a knack. Gordon thinks to this day that Boko saved his life. But we know that the twins were only teasing, don't we? <laughs>